The arts establish our relationship with what is universal in human existence. Through the individual artist's expression of an idea, an emotion, an impression, the commonalities of the human experience are brought to light in vivid detail, informing our perceptions of our societies, our histories, our futures, and ourselves. Art is a fundamental component of all cultures, past and present, a way of forging a spiritual connection to the gods and to each other, opening a critical avenue of communication and expression. Our current moment in history cannot afford to relegate art to an insignificant position in our society. And yet, in our education system, art is delegated to the role of supporting player to a host of other disciplines, and when granted its own distinct curriculum, it is seen as an extraneous and even superfluous aspect of a child's education. Why is it that this critical aspect of all historic and contemporary societies is not rightfully treated as a core discipline in our education system? Research studies continually prove the power of art education in developing creative problem solvers and critical thinkers who then become active and engaged citizens. Since we will all be affected and influenced by the students that rise through our education system, we must, as a collective, work to restructure how we view arts in education. Will we continue subjugating art as a means to other ends, an expendable subject whose potential is limited to mere unstructured free time or simple self-expression? Or will we restore art to the central role that it has performed throughout the centuries, allowing future generations to create and discover artistic forms that articulate the universal in human existence? Sometimes I wonder why I spend the lonely night dreaming of a song and the melody haunts my reverie.